What does your daughter feel about this? Does she think there's hope? I mean, my kids, my kids are utterly cynical. They're white. But they look at the climate catastrophe and they go, we don't get it. We don't think it's going to happen. The, the adjustment yeah, that I mean, we need. They're right. They're, right. They're, they're already talking about mitigation because we can't change our habits. It's sort of like, you know, when I, I stab myself with the fork like this, it's going to cause some really d bad damage to my leg. And they're like, well, stop with the fork. We cannot. We cannot stop consuming the resources. And so now they're like, well, it, we could just start patching the leg. We're already talking about mitigation, like airborne mitigation, all nonsense, right? Until we learn to put down the fork. There's no putting down the fork. But I'm interested now as you as a parent with such a, call it what you will, I'm on the wing of the aircraft, I'm trying to do my best, and there's your daughter who is heading off for the rest of her life. What do you say to her? I'm, 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 I'm not trying to censure you for being over negative. I'm, I'm, I'm not meaning to do that. Right. But it's like, if we surround ourselves in this cloud, where does that leave them? We're in the apocalypse. Yeah. We are. We're in the apocalypse. It started in 1492. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. This is all post-apocalyptic. I did um, uh, uh, Darlene Naponce's film, uh, uh, Stellar, and she said it in Sudbury, in the, uh, you know, the meteorite impacted the Sudbury region, the apocalypse, uh -huh. and the meteorite hit and yeah. And she's put that outside the bar door, and the relationship between the man and the woman in the bar is taking place outside of the apocalypse that happened. It's a brilliant metaphor. And then all these other characters get blown in through the door, have a quick scene with the main, and then they're off. Mm. But it is that she's put the apocalypse in terms of the meteorite that hit the Sudbury region yeah. and produced all that. It's just a brilliant metaphor. Sorry, mm. sidebar. Mm. I'm sorry, what we were talking about. <laughs> you asked me a question. I did. The next generation. So, my answer is, we're not here to do anything. We are here to experience. Because as, as an elder told me, being human is, is not in our nature. We are energy in this space, in these tragic, frail bodies. In this existence, we come here to learn we come here to experience and grow. I hope to give my daughters the knowledge to do that. I'm not the captain, and I, and I hear in what you're saying, like that that we have a, some kind of captain's responsibility to break into the cockpit and, you know, pull us up from the dive. Um, but that's not going to happen. You'll be mowed down by the Gatling guns by the time you leave economy. <laughs> They're not going to let you. I know that things are going to be worse. I hope to contribute something to change it. And the change that I seek 
is far bigger than um, uh, polishing up the edges. You said the word hope. I'm ecstatic. That was a mistake. 